As a kid, I grew up with an Italian figure, and I was sad and confused about this for the longest time. I thought it was my fault for separating my parents and that it would be difficult to have no father in my life. Mirando para atrás, miré que está bien que no más tengo mi mamá, porque ella también es mi mamá y mi papá. Thank you. My mom impacted my life because she motivated me and taught me to work harder in school. My mom struggled all the time when she first came to this country and didn't know how to speak English. During this time, she was 15 with a baby and worked three jobs. I would always go to her jobs because she had no one to take care of me at home. My, uh, no teníamos familia aquí en los Estados Unidos y mi abuelita siempre quería que regresara yo en México. But my mom didn't want to do that to me because she didn't want me growing up thinking that my parents didn't care about me. I knew that she was always thinking about me and my sister. She inspired me to work harder in my studies because with all the hard work she put into my future and because of her, I've had food on the table, clothes on my back, and most of all, a place to call home. <laughs> Growing up, I have made, I made mistakes in my life that have troubled my mom. I remember one time I got picked up from daycare and when my mom picked up and heard the news what I've got, she was disappointed. I was eight at the time. I immediately regretted what happened. Not only was I doing something I shouldn't have done, but I took her hard work for granted and acted like everything she did for me didn't even matter. At the time, she had this look of sadness, like she was trying to hold tears back because she felt like I was going to end up struggling with my future. She wanted me to do something positive with my life and to live up to my fullest potential. I felt horrible because I never wanted to see my mom cry. And for that reason, I started to work harder so I will be able to help my mom in the future. Looking back at my high school experience, I've always struggled with having good grades. During freshman year, I wanted to give up. One day, I had a conversation with my mom about me trying to drop out, and I felt like I wasn't good enough and that I wasn't intelligent for school. My mom explained to me that I had the potential in the world to succeed, and that those grades didn't mean I was not smart. My mom decided to teach me a lesson by getting me a job at, uh, getting me a job on the weekends working as a dishwasher. It was difficult working as a dishwasher because I was used to not working very hard. But for this experience, I've learned that hard work is necessary, necessary to achieve success. And without a high school diploma, I would not be able to work a stable job and provide my mom the life we always wanted. A couple of months before graduation, I had a meeting at school talking about my grades and how I wasn't passing one class. During this meeting, I looked at my mom and I saw the same face of disappointment and betrayal and it reminded me so clearly from childhood. It reminded me of all the things she did for me and how she never gave up to me and always put me first and always her second. After the meeting, I became more motivated to succeed because one day in, in the future, I'll be there for my mom. Without her support, I feel like I wouldn't be where I am today because I would have been lost or hopeless. She gave me unconditional love and never gave up on me. My mom knew that, she, that her hard work would pay off and I would grow up to be the man she always wanted me to be. Because even though I am the one walking this stage, I am also representing her and everyone who has helped me throughout the years. I wouldn't be able to do any of this alone without the extra push or motivation. I am crossing the stage on behalf of my teachers who helped me find what I am good at school. I am crossing the stage on behalf of my Uncle Hector, who always told me to become the better.